good. Nigeria Chambers here from Big O Bell Media. Tiffany, thank you so much for your time today. Very excited to talk about your role on the new series, Emperor of Ocean Park, coming to MGM Plus July 14th. How are you doing? I'm well. How are you? Good, good. Like, I'm just a critic, but I'm just going to tell you something. Damien and Sherman said something that I had said upon watching this entire series, and I know the world will be saying very soon, but this, without a doubt, is easily your best performance to date. And oh. you absolutely will be at the tip of everybody's tongue once this is done. Your your role here is special. The, the grave scene moved me in a way with, 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 with your brother, shall I say, that I just was not expecting. But before we get to that, I really do want to talk about, because I, I, I want you to kind of put into your words about who Mariah is. So my, my question is, who is Mariah before her father's death? And then who's Mariah after her father's death? I think it's really important to understand the differences in, in, in that middle point, not only is just death, but it's grieving. Can you talk about the two sides of Mariah here? Yeah, um, so I, Mariah is... Uh, truly a force. She is nothing if not a headstrong, driven woman. Um, and just, you know, incredibly determined to achieve like the life that she's envisioned for herself. And, um, and I think in addition to that, try to sort of like get out from under you know, the the sort of like shadow that was cast by like the success of from her father's career. And so I think that she, you know, we do get to meet, you know, younger versions of Mariah and seeing her out there hustling and and doing everything that she can to like make her dreams come true, to make her father proud. Mm. And um and I think that by the time that we, you know, meet her present day upon the death of her father, she's really in a moment of self-reflection of this sort of identity crisis of, wait a minute, have I actually become what I feared? If this much time has passed and like, this is, this is who I am, then it, like, is this really my identity now? Have I actually mm. lost, you know, lost the plot here? And, um, and I do think that that's only exacerbated by her father's death. And, you know, she sort of uses that as, um, uh, or I think that is the catalyst that sort of drives her back towards her dreams. Mm, 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 mm. I, I will say it again. Your performance is amazing on this show. Um, it, it gives it gives me chills, as I mentioned, the, the grave scene. But there's so many other moments that really touches me. But I want to ask you as the actor now, because Mariah is very structured, very corporate, you know, almost by the books at times. And then we see her tap into this investigative journalism by any means necessary character. Can you talk about being able to, like, let loose on that aspect of who she is? Um, yeah, I mean... She's fun because she she does live such a large life, right? She comes, you know, she comes from a background of privilege, but uh, of course, like through her marriage to Howard, she really, I mean, the, the privilege knows no bounds. And <laughs> so I think that, you know, when you when you mix a woman who already has as much self-determination as Mariah with with that level of like wealth access, you know, all of those things, there's no one standing in her way, no one's telling her no, and she will not accept no as an answer. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's, a, that's an amazing answer. Uh, the fans are going to eat that one up because there's so many references to that. Uh, <laughs> again, which is why I can keep, keep having to give you a flower. You, you do so, so well in this role. Um, I also think it's very important to understand the dynamics between Mariah and Tao. Because Mariah is hell bent that it is Uncle Jack, and Tal <laughs> is like natural causes, and that's a driving factor that we see a lot, very heavily featured in the very early episodes of this season. Can you talk about the relationship with Tal, um, and 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 um, and anything the fans may need to pick up on in terms of that dynamic? Um. I mean, I think it's I think it's a very recognizable dynamic for, you know, uh, a lot of people who have siblings. I, I have two brothers, so there was a lot in in this reading of the scripts that I realized, like, oh, yeah, this is I, I, I know this. I one. got this. <laughs> um, I think it's honestly, I think it's a really necessary dynamic, right, to allow Mariah just in sort of the writing of it. And this was, you know, 
uh, just pure kudos to Sherman and 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 the writers and the way in which they were able to like craft this because I don't know if you could let Mariah be as full force as she is without sort of a straight man to kind of anchor us or or question um, you know her machinations. So I think it's I think it's a really interesting um, dynamic, and of course it only helps that they're brother and sister. So then they have all of that uh, to riff off of. Quick question, yes or no here, because of time. As I mentioned, she's hell bent on Uncle Jack. Does she ever let off of the gas on that one? Can't say yes or no. You'll have to tune in. <laughs> <laughs> Great answer. Tiffany, thank you so much for your time. Amazing performance. I can't really cannot wait to see where your career goes beyond this. This is this is definitely the one, like seriously. And the no, world it's been such a gift. I'm like, I'm I'm so so thrilled that i got the chance to do this so amazing amazing with the world they'll get to see it. emperor of ocean park comes to mgm plus july 14th it's been a pleasure today thank you so much Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.